your consciousness is the cause of your world. The conscious state in which you abide determines the kind of world in which you live. Your present concept of yourself is now objectified as your environment, and this state is symbolized as Esau, the hairy, uh, sensibly felt, the first son, that which you would like to be or possess is symbolized as your second son, Jacob, the smooth-skinned lad, who is not yet seen, but is subjectively sensed and felt, and will, if properly touched, supplant his brother Esau or your present world. Always bear in mind the fact that Isaac, the father of these two sons, or states, is blind. He does not see his smooth-skinned son Jacob. He only feels him. And through the sense of feeling, he actually believes Jacob, the subjective, to be Esau the real, the objectified. You do not see your desire objectively. You simply sense it, feel it subjectively. You do not grope in space after a desirable state. Like Isaac, you sit still and send your first son hunting by removing your attention from your objective world. Then, in the absence of your first son, Esau, you invite the desirable state, your second son, Jacob, to come close so that you may feel it. Come close, my son, that I may feel you. First, you are aware of it in your immediate environment. Then you draw it closer and closer and closer until you sense it and feel it in your immediate presence so that it is real and natural to you. If two of you shall agree on earth as touching on any point that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Two, the two agree through the sense of feel, and the agreement is established on earth, is objectified, is made real. The two agreeing are Isaac and Jacob, you and that which you desire, and the agreement is made solely on the sense of feeling. Esau symbolizes your present objectified world, whether it be pleasant or otherwise. Jacob symbolizes any and every desire of your heart. Isaac symbolizes your true self with your eyes closed to the present world in the act of sensing and feeling yourself to be or to possess that which you desire to be or to possess. The secret of Isaac, the sensing, feeling state, is simply the act of mentally separating the sensibly felt, your present physical state, from the insensibly felt, that which you would like to be. With the objective senses tightly shut, Isaac made, and you can make, the insensibly felt, the subjective state, seem real or sensibly known, for faith is knowledge. Knowing the law of self-expression, the law by which the invisible is made visible, is not enough. It must be applied, and this is the method of application. First, send your first son Esau, your present objectified world or problem, hunting. This is accomplished simply by closing your eyes and taking your attention away from the objectified limitations. As your senses are removed from your objective world, it vanishes from your consciousness or goes hunting. Second, with your eyes still closed and your attention removed from the world around you, consciously fix the natural time and place for the realization of your desire. With your objective senses closed to your present environment, you can sense and feel the reality of any point in time or space, for both are psychological and can be created at will. It is vitally important that the natural time-space condition of Jacob, that is, the natural time and place for the realization of your desire, be first fixed in your consciousness. If Sunday is the day on which the thing desired is to be realized, then Sunday must be fixed in consciousness now. Simply begin to feel that it is Sunday until the quietness and naturalness of Sunday is consciously established. You have definite associations with the days, weeks, months, and seasons of the year. You have said time and again, today feels like Sunday or Monday or Saturday, or this feels like spring or summer or fall or winter. This should convince you that you have definite conscious impressions that you associate with the days, weeks, and seasons of the year. 
Then, because of these associations, you can select any desirable time, and by recalling the conscious impression associated with such time, you can make a subjective reality of that time now. Do the same with space. If the room in which you are seated is not the room in which the thing desired would be naturally placed or realized, feel yourself seated in the room or place where it would be natural. Consciously fix this time-space impression before you start the act of sensing and feeling the nearness, the reality, and the possession of the thing desired. It matters not whether the place desired be 10,000 miles away or only next door. You must fix in consciousness the fact that right where you are seated is the desired place. You do not make a mental journey. You collapse space. Sit quietly where you are and make thereness, hereness. Close your eyes and feel that the very place where you are is the place desired. Feel and sense the reality of it until you are consciously impressed with this fact. For your knowledge of this fact is based solely on your subjective sensing. Third, in the absence of Esau, the problem, and with the natural time-space established, you invite Jacob, the solution, to come and fill this space, to come and supplant his brother. In your imagination, see the thing desired. If you cannot visualize it, sense the general outline of it. Contemplate it. Then mentally draw it close to you. Come close, my son, that I may feel you. Feel the nearness of it. Feel it to be in your immediate presence. Feel the reality and solidity of it. Feel it and see it naturally placed in the room in which you are seated. Feel the thrill of actual accomplishment and the joy of possession. Now open your eyes. This brings you back to the objective world, the rough or sensibly felt world. Your hairy son Esau has returned from the hunt and by his very presence tells you that you have been betrayed by your smooth-skinned son Jacob, the subjective psychologically felt. But like Isaac, whose confidence was based upon the knowledge of the changeless law, you too will say, I have made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants. That is, even though your problems appears fixed and real, you have felt the subjective psychological state to be real to the point of receiving the thrill of that reality. You have experienced the secret of cre creation, for you have felt the reality of the subjective. You have fixed a definite psychological state, which in spite of all opposition or precedence will objectify itself, thereby fulfilling the name of Jacob, the supplanter.